Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Dear my children, I address you as she who watches over you, your guardian and guide. From the depths of my heart, I bring a message of tremendous significance, a message demanding your full attention. But before I delve into it, I ask a favor of you, share this video with your loved ones and subscribe to support us, ensuring you always receive new prayers and messages. Please comment with an Amen or your thoughts. Listen carefully because what I'm about to unveil will profoundly impact you and will mark the end of the world as you know it. Time is short, the hour of purification has arrived, and there is only one way to achieve salvation from this looming catastrophe. Stay tuned as I am about to share with you a great mystery, providing evidence of the credibility of my visions. I speak of two prophecies that I revealed to the visionaries and to St. Bernard prophecies that have come true. The first is the third secret of Fatima, known to all in 1917 in the town of Fatima, Portugal. I disclosed to the children a vision that predicted an assassination attempt on the Pope. This was fulfilled on May 13, 1981, when Pope John Paul II was shot by an assailant. The second prophecy concerns the apparition to Saint Bernadette in Lourdes, France, in 1858. I directed Bernadette to dig a well which would possess incredible healing powers. Today, Lourdes is a famed pilgrimage site where many have experienced miraculous healings from its waters. The end of the world as you know it is imminent. Only those who repent their sins, who open their hearts to compassion and brotherly love, will be saved. Faith and humility will be the keys to the gates of heaven. Mother Earth, the custodian of all life forms, weeps for the sins of humanity. The evil deeds of humans have destroyed the gift of life, polluting the air, water, and soil. Rivers have been tainted, and the oceans suffer from the wounds inflicted upon their vast beauty. God's wrath will pour forth like an uncontainable fire upon the earth with the purpose of purifying the world from these malevolent entities, affecting even the innocent. I have seen visions of future catastrophic events, devastating earthquakes that will shake the planet, swallowing entire cities, rivers and seas rising in furious waves, flooding lands and sowing pain and despair, abrupt climate changes with bitterly cold winters followed by sweltering heat highly contagious global pandemics claiming millions of lives, and natural events such as great floods, fires, and extreme cold striking regions worldwide. Many nations and peoples will be erased from the face of the earth. Humanity must face an unimaginable punishment for the hatred, vengeance, and desire for power sown by men. However, I am not recounting these calamities to spread fear. I am sharing this vision because I believe it is right that everyone knows what is about to happen. The power to change destiny lies in the hands of humanity. This message is a call for reflection, self-criticism, and repentance. Whether you are believers or non-believers, this prophecy concerns all. Each of you can make a difference and contribute to correcting the course of events. Your hearts must open to compassion, forgiveness, and brotherly love. Divisions must be overcome, and unity among peoples must prevail. I ask you to heed my words carefully, for only by following my message can we avert the prophecy that will befall the earth. On a cold night, ten minutes before midnight, darkness will fall upon the earth for 72 hours. Only those who survive will witness a new era of rebirth. I warn you not to open your doors to strangers, for many will be malevolent and pose a threat to your survival. Prepare, for only those who listen and follow my message will have a chance of survival. I will give you signs and valuable instructions on how to prepare. Do not let fear take hold in your hearts. I urge you not to look outside, for God wishes to spare you from the sight of the wrath and pain that will descend upon the world. Take this message seriously and reflect on your actions. The fate of humanity is in your hands. The Mother of Heaven warns you, prepare, seek forgiveness, and love one another as brothers and sisters. In this way, you may face the end of the world with dignity and hope. We do not know the exact day, but the time is running out. Only those who believe in God and His words will find strength and protection during times of tribulation. 
Those who spread this message will be messengers of hope, called to bring light into the impending dark days when the earth shakes and the heavens lash out against you. Do not be afraid. Light blessed candles and pray, for faith and prayer will be your shields in times of despair. Remember that God is merciful, and humility and repentance can mitigate the severity of punishments. When the darkness is thickest, a great sign will appear in the sky to remind all of my son's sacrifice for the sins of the world. I pray that this message reaches all who view it and that each one takes it seriously. I implore you to share this prophecy with the entire world, for only through awareness and preparation can we confront the forthcoming events. May peace and mercy be with you. Pray, love one another, and be ready to change the destiny of the world. The Mother of Heaven is with you at every moment. Leave a sign of your faith and write Amen in the comments.